Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So in your weekly reading you got the Divine Union card and it just felt like there was a lot of information that was wanting to come through. So I thought we should check in. We should check in with Aquarius. Also Aquarius has gone through this major awakening and you guys are really leading the way with the age of Aquarius. It's a lot, you know, to take on this. So Aquarius deserves a love reading. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Drink lots of water, I'm hearing. Very important. And take care of yourself. Also, you're shining. I mean, you're the star, right? Aquarius. Let's see, what's going on? <laughs> you are the oracle. This is, you are the star, Aquarius. Avalon Star Stream Oracle. It's it's interesting because right before this energy, I saw the tour and it was like, I was like, Aquarius, you're vibing so high. Like, it, it's like you're in the world, not of it. You know, it's like, and that's really what this card is. And you can see here with this spaceship, it's like you've got this, such this high frequency and this, you know, connection to star systems and cosmos. And, you know, I, I just feel there's this really flowy element to your energy as well right now, Aquarius. Whoa. Okay, we'll read them all. Let's see. Deep memories are stirring. And again, with the tool. Look at this. This is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay. It is. And it feels like there's these past life relationships. Because look at this. Both in the same setting. And whether you're Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, you can switch these energies. But someone remembers. It's like these deep memories are stirring. Maybe this is memories for, you know... It's like lifetimes that you've shared together or something like that. Whoa, okay, we got lots of cards. Crown yourself. King Arthur's footprint. This is that crown chakra, really connection to the these uh, these higher realms. Reflect and release the essence of St. Francis, connecting to peace and release anything that's not of that frequency. And last but not least, remove the mask of your everyday persona. I'm going to read this as Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It feels like Divine Masculine is removing the mask. Both are crowning themselves. Both are stepping into their Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And it's the way that they do this. And again, guys, this is a general reading and you can switch the energies. But I'm just going to read it this way. And if you want to change them, then, then do so. But it feels like here Divine Feminine is, is reflecting and releasing releasing the past releasing you know any frequencies that are not of you know her highest self or you know for her highest good and divine masculine is going through awakening with deep feelings you know deep stirrings and memories and he's removing the mask he can't not be himself anymore because he remembers too much and it's really about both of them crowning themselves standing in their higher powers Let's draw from the tarot. Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, reverse. Six of Swords, reverse. Oh. Okay. interesting there is such a distaste or i feel it right here in the solar plexus chakra with this um five of, of pentacles and seven of swords there's a six of swords in reverse <laughs> basically divine feminine it's like you it feels like you're dealing with this or you're still feeling and this is the energies that you're releasing you've gone through so much deception and trickery fake people people that use and abuse this is narcissists thieves you know people basically using your energy taking your love for granted and using it using you they left you out in the cold Okay, and it's like this is the energy that you're releasing, this this distaste, this this inner 
anger, but what I felt literally was straight away in the solar plexus, like it knocked your your sense of joy, your your inner light, your 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 what is that like your um self worth. You know, it really Yeah. You know, those are the energies that Divine Feminine is releasing as past situations that have done this for her to be able to, to you know, reflect on any situations like this. To release and then to recognize that you are the Oracle and that you are creating your nows. There's an unconditional love and forgiveness, a cleansing but first, it's about looking at these situations, reflecting even the difficult times, reflecting it and holding it in love to be able to be released. And it feels like with the Page of Pentacles, this is an offering from the universe that's coming in or an offering that this situation was an offering for the Divine Feminine to heal. And this might not even be in this lifetime. This might be in other lifetimes. There's an energy, there's a frequency that Divine Feminine is releasing. This could be an ancestral pattern. You know, it's like she's releasing it from her light body to step into her strength and her higher crowning of herself, her Divine Feminine energy. Divine Masculine, we see a sense of perhaps selfishness, definitely imbalance. You know, not planting, you know, it's, it's, it's a lack of safety and security. They're very imbalanced. This could be over drinking, over indulging. Really not honoring the earth. The king of pentacles in reverse speaks of, you know, not, not treating divine feminine with respect. Not treating really anything with respect. Because there's an imbalance here. But with the Hermit card, he's seeing this. Divine Masculine is rising. I think that's the first time I've said that. Because for so long, it's been Divine Feminine that's been doing all the work. Divine Feminine is Rose. She has risen. And now here, Divine Masculine is finally going through this awakening process. He's seeking and finding the light within. As a Hermit card, he is going through awakening and recognizing he is the light. Listening to those deep memories, those inner knowings, connecting to his inner light. To be able to see clearly where he's been unbalanced, where there's been moments where he's felt unsafe. You know, hurt people hurt people. He doesn't just disrespect the earth because, you know, he's not hurt. It's because he's hurt. And so he's finding these moments within himself to be able to heal and crown himself. The Empress, reverse. Not seeing clearly a situation, not growing. Eight of Swords. Both parties, like both parties, so maybe you guys are literally, you know, at a distance right now. Both people feel stuck and don't see how this connection can come together or how things can change or they feel stuck in their healing process but the eight of swords reminds us that sometimes spirit is going to help us it reminds us that we're not stuck we're never stuck and here she's blindfolded but the truth is we're awake both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are awake. They might feel blindfolded and stuck and like there's no hope. But the truth of this card is that it tells us the truth is that we're not stuck and that we're not blindfolded. And in fact, we are the Oracle and we do have ancient memories. We are the Hermit. We do see clearly. The Three of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be collaboration, um, you know, it's sort of working together like you guys might be sort of cooperating, you know, meeting. Maybe this could even be like going to see a counselor, guys, because we've got the three people here. But it feels like there's a common ground between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. There's a common ground to work on something, whether it be something creative or this could be, you know, the connection. What are they working on, Spirit? 
Ace of Wands reverse. You got a clarifier. Ace of Cups. Ooh, okay. So it feels like this collaboration is about really connecting to meet with an emotional connection that's about refinding the love or you know or just connecting once more through love and maybe not so much lust and passion but more just pure good-hearted like love which is really where the ultimate is and where the truth is and where the you know the everything is you know it really it feels like this ace of cups is both you know meeting you know to be able to um cooperate and share their loves or share their gifts or share their ideas how is divine masculine feeling at this time six of pentacles reverse he feels like this energy is being spread a little thin divine feminine page of wands feeling great feeling passionate feeling ready to create and make moves and do new things okay guys darling <laughs> all of the above let's draw a love message and then we're going to get into the passion deck to see what's happening um with the passion energies i hate how i treated you Your eyes are like looking into my own soul. I think of you as soon as I open my eyes. Oh. You have a beautiful soul. You inspire me to be better. I miss the excitement of seeing you. I know you are thinking about me and it excites me. And I dream of our life together. Last but not least. I really do want us to work out. Yeah, there seems to be Aquarius there with this, you know, three of pentacles and seeing this message here. It feels like this person, they do want this connection. Like the ace of cups is, it's a loving, you know, maybe it's just a caring connection, but the, it's just like they want it to work out. Like it's like the cup is overflowing with love and emotion for you. One more. I dream of starting all over again with you. Let's draw from the passion deck, guys. For this divine union, let's get some messages here from spirit. Yeah. Endings and new beginnings, the world card. It feels like the relationship is moving into something new. This could be that you're, you know, you are ending a, a previous relationship to go into a new one, or it's a new cycle for an existing relationship. The King of Swords, so utmost truth, clarity, and victory. With the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia happening, but wanting to take that one step further and create new memories. Okay, Knave of Chalices in reverse. Someone is trying to... <laughs> They're like, try, it's like they keep taking this breath, like I'm trying to... <sighs> maybe someone's like literally doing breaths to like try and calm <sighs> I literally hear that you know it's like they're trying to come forward but they don't know sort of like the best ways to express the feelings or what they're it's like they have a lot to say but they really just go I have so much to say that you know I'm probably not going to say anything like let's just leave it at, at nothing <sighs> and there is the death card look at that I can't I feel like that I don't know which way that flipped, but it's it's basically an ending, whether you bring it on or spirit does. It is definitely an ending to a relationship or a cycle of a relationship. This could simply mean that you guys do start this new cycle together, but it's like an ending to how things were done. Coming out of heartache, it's like both of these energies know that it's an end to heartache right and i feel like it's because someone has wielded this sword of truth and clarity which has brought in this new beginning you know maybe someone's spoken the truth said what they want in this relationship nine of swords and the hanged man yet yeah, definitely like 
being stuck in one's head about it. It feels like a sort of like a connection, like a really bonded, you know, soul ties. And guys, if you're feeling like you're connected to someone and it's not giving you, you know, support and love and, and good vibes, then you can do energy cleansing. And in fact, let's light some polysanto right now, you know, um, and, you know, any energy that is not of the highest good is released. But with the hanged man here, we're seeing that there's a new perspective. It really does feel like this fresh outlook or this fresh way of seeing things. So let's just cleanse any energy that's not for the, you know, the beautiful highlight good vibes for Aquarius. Because you're not stuck to the past. You're not stuck to how things were done. You have this awakening, this new perspective. You are the oracle. So, you know, this is really this reflect and release all over again. To be able to bring in this new perspective. And Aquarius, you can get, um, you know, if you have energy cleansing, like if you want to, uh, uh, blah, I can't speak, questions about energy cleansing, please contact me because I will help you, okay? Um, I'll send you some information or, you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm being called to do a video on energy cleansing at this time, so I'll do, I'll try to do that. Um, but yeah, email me guys through the crystal store and I'll send you things for the new beginning. Do you see that? As soon as we cleanse the energy... The Ace of Wands turns up. The brand new beginning. One that is very passionate. <laughs> I feel being silly. I feel like dancing now. It's like, I really do. This is the energy of this card with the Ace of Wands. It's excitement. Look at the glowing fire here. You know, it's all passion. It's all love. And it's just a gorgeous connection. And it's because there was just like a cleansing of energies that weren't needed for there to be this new beginning. Again, guys, it could be a new relationship or a new beginning in your existing relationship. Oh my gosh. Another new beginning, the Ace of Chalices. These are the cards that came out before. Aquarius, this new beginning is about passion and love. Not just passion, not just, I mean, it's everything. Okay, it's everything you could ever want, ask, and dream for. It's it's new opportunity. It's exciting. It's passionate. It's like your cup is overflowing and your magical wand is glowing. All right, this is so beautiful and blessed. And this is simply about this and the knave of wands. Simply about this cleansing of energy, which brings in this, and this is going to start with a single offer. The neighbor of wands could be someone saying, "Do you want to go out dancing, or do you want to do something?" You know, it's like they're putting their stake in the ground here. They're like they're making their mark to say, like, "Hey, um, do you want to try this?" Or you know, it's like this neighbor of wands, and this could be you, Aquarius. We like, why don't we try this? And what this does is it starts this whole new beginning for you. It feels like even even maybe. This is something that you do like in your in, at work, you know, not even within your relationship, or just something that you do, and it just brings in this really exciting new beginning. And I'm literally seeing like the letter Y here, like yes, the universe is saying yes, yes to Aquarius. And last but not least, we got the Eight of Chalices. It's eternal love. It's unconditional love. The Eight is the unending cycle of love. And chalices is emotions and joy and prosperity and beauty and happiness. Grace, it's really beautiful. Wow. I hope this reading helped in some way, darling. So I'm going to place that for you here. So this new beginning, it's coming in for you. There is no doubt about it, sweethearts. And if you want to help any out with that cleanse before these new beginnings come in, then contact me, you know where to find me, in the crystal store. Check that subscribe thumbs up and I look forward to see you soon. Bless, bless, bless. Ciao for now.